Rock above the water lines, you know. Uh, what day was it then when they come over? Sunday night. Yeah, Sunday evening they come over over the sandbags and the water just rushed in then. Couldn't hold it back. We tuck in seven inches inside the house. Well, you can see we had to go up different heights, you know, from how high the sheetrock soaked the water up. Insulation. Pull the floors up. Pull all the uh, main floor up on part of it. What did you do? Did you do anything to prepare for the water coming in before it actually got We sandbagged all the way around the house tried to hold it out, you know. Did you do anything with your furniture or anything? Or? Well, we had it, most of it jacked up in the air, except my oh. kitchen cabinets, so they was all nailed to the wall, you know, and everything. But we moved some stuff, and just set stuff up. But I lost everything in my shed out there. You know, I didn't have time to sandbag it. What'd you have Fre out there? Freezer, air compressors, well, you can see it's all turned over, and a bunch of stuff just floated around and turned over. How much damage do you think you got here? I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I don't have an idea. I'd say several, it's several thousand. Carpets, flooring, possibly my my uh, air conditioner and heating unit. Yeah. I haven't had it checked out yet, but water got over top of it. Do you have any flood insurance? No flood insurance. Well, around here, you guys have you guys had any high water around here before? In '93, I had well, I had my sandbag higher, and, but it's just a different water. It just got a lot higher. And, uh, yeah, '93 we had a sandbag, but we kept it out. And, uh, uh, but this here water here was just it was just unreal. Well, it, I guess it made history, you know, it's never been this high. Uh, well, we got about uh, 12 inches of water on the first floor, so that's uh, all the subfloor and the drywall and air conditioning ducts and the air conditioner and everything in the garage, but uh, that's probably about it as far as just general cleanup, as far as damage is concerned. That's uh, just whatever a foot of water will do to the inside of your house. All my wife's cookbooks. Huh. She's pretty broken hearted about that. So it got up to about, oh, I can't really tell. You might be able to see it. Seems like it got up to about here, out here in the garage. So that was about a foot in the house here. So we're just trying to find out where, how far up the mold went and what we have to rip out. Of course, we hate to destroy this. This is the neatest room in the house. Got to do something. And, uh, just looking for little surprises like back in there. We didn't think the fireplace would be bothered, but yet it looks like it got wet back in there. No. And this is a Steve Contractor. So he's the one doing all the discovering for me. Uh, it was a great place before. Really loved it. Wife had it decorated really nice. Just bought new furniture three weeks ago. Don't even have a week on it, but it's safe and sound in the back of a truck somewhere. It's normally supposed to be uh, kind of hard to describe, but uh, the very end of that guy's dock is usually on dry land. So it's probably got another 10 to 12 feet to drop out there before it gets back to its normal banks. And this has always been the threat for years and now it turned out it came from the other direction this time with the, the Ohio was so bad. The Mississippi is what affects us on this side and Ohio on that side. And when the two of them get together, we're just screwed. <laughs> Nothing you can do.